Welcome to 140 by Talk to the Duck Doc Dev. Today, we'll continue our production debugging session, talking about metrics, which give you the missing piece into debugging production. One of the most important things I do when debugging or testing is create a variable to count things. How many times was this line reached? This gives me important understanding of my system. Counter metric is just that. You can use conditions to count things, like how many people from a specific country reach this method. If you're thinking about deprecating a production API, this is the metric you need to keep your eye on. Notice that metrics are logged by default, but can be piped to StatsD and Prometheus, then visualized in Grafana. Locally, I often just grab the current time into a variable, then after a few lines, log the number of milliseconds that passed to give me a sense of the overhead in the method. This is a TikTok but at scale. We select a few lines and then we can instantly see how much time is taken for the execution of these specific lines. Again, we can pipe everything and use conditions. Method duration is the exact same thing as TikTok, only applied to the entire method. That's just a simple convenience tool. The end result is the same. Just like with the other metrics, we can pipe this everywhere. Security and privacy are crucial with production debugging. Blocklist lets us block specific files and classes from receiving a user action. This way, a malicious developer can't place a log in a sensitive area of the code and siphon off user information. You can use patterns and exceptions to block specific files. Personal identifiable information reduction, also known as PII reduction, let us remove private data from logs automatically. If you logged a user object, which includes a credit card number, you might have inadvertently violated privacy laws. PII reduction lets you avoid that by detecting such patterns and masking them in the logs. Check out talktothedup.dev and follow the debug agent on Twitter to learn more. Thanks for watching.